Welcome to the evening Bible study. Especially from this evening, we are studying the freedom in Christ. Over three years ago, we are studying the, this uh, uh, studying title, and then we are going to study again. And then, um, can you see the freedom in Christ? This book. How many of you are studying this book? Have you studied this uh, material? It's a very powerful, and you did it. And when did you do it? Thirteen years ago. <laughs> yeah, in my, we did it three years ago, but uh, again, so you can do it again uh, uh, for two and a half months, which is uh, February and March, and then um, middle of April we finish this one for ten weeks. Let's pray once again. Father, help us to understand when we enjoy the freedom in Christ Jesus. O oh God, we know that we shall know the truth, truth set us free. Jesus is the way and truth and life. When you have Jesus, you have the amazing liberty and freedom in our life. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have the, your, your booklet and you can see Freedom in Christ Jesus, 10 week life changing discipleship course. You know, Jesus made the disciples. And then uh, this is my prayer. Every every our members in London Shepherd Church. If anybody look at uh, this uh, you know, live uh, you know, teaching, and then you can be a disciple of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you look at the uh, page number? Part one. You can start page number nineteen. And page number nineteen. You can see that. Jesus said that we will know the truth and truth will set us free. In the first two sections, we look at some of the key and truth we need to know about what it means to be Christian. And then section one, can you see the why am I? Why am I? And then what is about objective and focus purpose and focus of truth. You can see that, yeah. I can read for you what is about the objective to realize that deep down inside we are now a completely new creation in Christ, holy ones who are accepted, secure, and significant. How many you believe that you are a new creation? Yeah. Do you remember uh, Brother Jack and he uh, he he attended the New Year Eve service, and then he was a, a juggler. <laughs> and he collected money from the street. Uh, I met him on the street, I encouraged him to come here, and he became born again. Two weeks ago, he received water baptism. <laughs> Do you remember, he, I think, I believe that he is a new creation. You know, whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, all that's gone, you are a new creation. Focus verse is, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Second Corinthians, Chapter 5 or 17. And focus through your decision is to follow Christ was a defining moment of your life and led to complete change in who you now are. And then uh, you can see the page number 23. Can you see the page number 23 your book? Who are you really? Perhaps the most uh, fundamental truth we need to know is who we are. What make up the real me? Who are you? Yeah? Who are you really? Who are you? You may say, I'm Oriental, I'm a African, I'm a South American, I'm an English one. You can say that. But no, I talk about who are you really inside of your life. Do you know, Paul, he said that my outward is, you know, you know in the, you know, how can you go? My inner word is a, is like a bit stronger, but uh, my outward getting what older and then and washed away. But our inside become more stronger, more new, more healthier. H how many of you recognize that your inside is more stronger? Yeah, your inside is more stronger, more powerful than before. Can you imagine? I'm over 50 years old, man. And then, long times ago, 20, 30 years ago, I'm a more, more stronger than now. But now, inside, inside is more stronger than before. Can you imagine? 
long times ago, of course, I had a passion and the burning desire for kingdom of the Lord. But now it's more, more. Praise God. And then the original design. Look, page number 23, you can see that. We are made in God's image. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. God is spirit. So at the moment, sorry, at the most fundamental level of our being, we too have a, a spiritual nature. It is not our body, our outer person that is created in the image of God. It our inner person, you see, I talk about our inner person. Your, your inner person. Yeah, how beautiful. Do you know most of the women they spend a lot of money for what? For cosmetic makeup or you know, spend their time, spend their energy, spend their money, you know, buy the cloth, all these things. But how much you spend your time, your energy, your money for your inner man? Yeah? Can you check your bank statement, uh, how you spend the money? You always you spend the money for your outsider, <laughs> for makeup, all these things, or like the Bible. <laughs> You buy the some some kind of uh, something for your spiritual health, you know. I forget to bring the new microphone and then new two microphone we order. He using it for two years, and because we used to using our microphone over two years, it's damaged already. But uh, we will go to Stock and Trent uh, on twenty fourth to 26th of February, we need to prepare. And then uh, I forget to bring it from my house. You know, most of uh, my account, uh, all I spend the money for, for the church equipment, <laughs> for the speakers and microphone, and um, you know, wire, all these things. You know, how about you? Can you spend some money and then uh, spend some your energy for the kingdom of God? Yeah, last week we sent the uh, over one thousand four hundred dollar to supporting for one 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 widow, and then you know we spend uh, over almost two thousand dollar US dollar to build a one widow house, and then yesterday two ladies came to me, Pastor Paul. I showed her some classroom. One of our French pastor, Pastor Abidu, he built uh, the extended classroom because of more students coming, and do you know how much is it? They already put the foundation and then, then, then the pillow, the wall. But they need the wall is not just only the wooden, wooden uh, pillow. And then they need uh, cover the looping and that by iron seat. And then the wall is also by the iron seat. And the price is around eight hundred dollar. And then I talked to the uh, two ladies. Uh, I think they just pray together. And these two ladies say. Pastor Paul, uh, we we love to do it, <laughs> you know. And these two ladies, they raise up to eight hundred dollar to supporting for this uh, the project in the school. Can you imagine this school? They continually they build it by faith, but they don't expect to receive something from me. They don't rely on me. I told them rely on Jesus. But I talk about uh, your material life. How much you spend your money? Yeah spend money for your inner being yeah it's very important sometimes two times some brother do you need the money i say yeah if <laughs> somebody, i say praise god if i have money i can use it and then that guy gave me a hundred pound i use the money for 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 some some uh, my need and uh, for my brother sister's need you know you can spend your money and spend something for your inner man Scientists uh, confirm that our uh, motor carotid DNA is the correct pronunciation. Mitochondrial. Mitro thank you. Mitochondrial DNA. Thank you. Yes, we have English teacher in here, and provided that uh, we are all uh, descended from the same woman, and our U chromosomes is it correct. Why chromosomes proper that we are all descended from the same man? Who is the same man? Adam. 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 The Bible tells us our ultimate ancestors were called Adam and Eve. Christians disagree about exactly how God created them, 
but we all agree that God inspired their story to be written down to communicate some very significant truth. Adam's uh, spirit, his inner person, the core of his, his being, was connected to his body. In other words, he was physically alive, just as we are. But Adam's spirit was also connected to God, which means that he was also spiritually alive. That is how we are designed to be too. On one hand, our spirit connected to our physical body, and on the other hand, our spirit connected to God. And the spirit connection to God gave, gave Adam and, and three very significant things. Do you know that when before? Page number 24 now, yeah? You know that where you are, yeah? Adam yeah, and Eve, they connect with Almighty God spiritually before committing the sins when God made them in the image of God. And number one, acceptance. He had an intimate relationship with God. He could talk with him at any time and have his uh, full atten attention. How many of you uh, talk with God every day? Yeah. That means you belong to second Adam, who is Jesus. There are no more first Adam. Physically, in the beginning, of course, emotionally, mentally, you know, we used to belong to the first Adam. But you are new creation. All that's gone, you are a new creation. Now you belong to second Adam. Can you say to each other, you belong to second Adam? Say to each other, you belong to the second Adam. Amen. I used to belong to the Adam and Eve, first Adam, no more now. Number two, significance. He was given a purpose to, to rule over the birds of the sky and beasts of the field and the f fish of the sea. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. How many of you do you know rule over the earth? Yeah. This is your job. Yeah? Unfortunately, you know, the animal or some other things rule over the people. That is totally wrong. I met one homeless on the street. Do you know what happened? This homeless is lying on the bed, on the floor, on the street, and the dog go on the top of his chest. And do you know what happened? Dog play a game. And dog go touch the man's uh, face, like dang, dang, like this. And then look like the you know, this human being is a toy to the dog. <laughs> I saw it all my eyes. Do you understand? God made us in the image of God. But now dog is a rule. Have you heard about uh, Sylvester Stallone? He tried to buy the house in America at a very nice area in, the, in Los Angeles. Do you know Sylvester Stallone, the famous actor? But when you try to buy the house, the price is like over five million US dollar, big house. But who is the owner of that house? Anybody heard about that? Dog, D-O-G, dog. When the owner died, they give the, all the will, everything given to the dog. And dog is the owner of that house. And then uh, Silver Stallone is uh, very upset. I don't want to buy the dog's house. <laughs> 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 he gave up, he didn't buy. Can you imagine? There is a solicitor for the dog. When the multimillionaire died, he gave everything to give unto the dog. How terrible. Do you understand? This can happen in this world now. Number three, security. He was uh, told totally safe and secure in God's presence. Everything he needed was provided for food and shelter, companionship, everything. You are created for that kind of life, a complete acceptance by God and other people, significance, a real purpose, and absolute security. No need to worry about uh, uh, single things. H how many of you worry something? Yeah, and for me, I don't worry about 10 years about anything. Is it biblical? Don't worry about anything, yes or no? Yes. But why you worry? Yeah? You, you disobey God. That means you, God say to you, God say to you, don't worry, but you obey, uh, you disobey God, you worry. Why you worry? Because your trust, you know, your trust level, yeah? If your trust level like this, yeah? Trust level to Jesus like this, 
you worry about anything. Why? Because you are a Lord of yourself. You worry about everything. But your trust level on Jesus, so high, so high. Total trust in Jesus. You don't need to worry about anything, yeah? Can you say amen? <laughs> amen. Yeah? Can you say to you, if you trust in Jesus totally, you don't need to worry about anything. Say to each other, if you trust in Jesus totally, you don't worry about anything in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Yeah? You drive a minibus, it's good now. Yeah? <laughs> you much easier to come. You drive minibus. But how about the, your life? Who drive? Who is the one to drive your life? Jesus. Jesus. Do you understand? My life. Who is the driver for my life? My Lord Jesus Christ. No more me. Do you understand? I came to the church by my car. But who drive? I drive. But my life. Who is the driver for my life? My Lord Jesus Christ. And then um, you can see the, all these things. Uh, but uh, I think it's, uh, uh, if you look at the, uh, you can see. You can see the page number 30. Can you, can you see the page number 33? Page number 33. Now, when you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you have to know who you are. Especially, this look like a basic, but uh, you need to know who I am. Who I am in Christ Jesus. Yeah, I am accepted. Can you see? Uh, renounce the the lie that I am rejected, unloved, or shameful in Christ, I am accepted. God says, I am God's child. John chapter 1 verse 12. I think you have still time. You have the another 30, 40 minutes time. If you have the Bible, can you look at the one uh, book of John? John chapter 1 verse 12. Book of John chapter 1 verse 12 say very famous scripture yet to all who receive Jesus to those who believe in Jesus name he give the light to become a children of God you become what children of God if you believe in the Lord Jesus it's not wonderful how many of your children of God in here yeah you are sons and daughters of God it's not wonderful you are sons and daughters of God. I am a child of God. I am a Christ a friend. Look at John 15 verse 5. John 15 verse 5. I am a friend of Jesus. John 15 verse 5. I am the vine. You are the branch. If a man remain in me, I in him. I think it's a, uh, my mid it's a verse 5, yeah. And you can do nothing. Yeah, uh, he will bear much fruit, and uh, apart from me, you can do nothing. Yeah, and what is another scripture actually? I forget another scripture. You know, you are my friend, and then friend, I can share everything. Which verse is it? Yeah, yeah, chapter 10. Yeah, John chapter 10. Was what? Jesus said to his disciples, you are my friend. And the friend is share everything. Yeah? Which, which chapter? Did you find it? I think some other chapter. Now if you find it, please let me know. Sister Elizabeth, did you find it? Yeah. Do you know where is it? And you can Google it and you can find it also. And then, uh, if somebody find it, I'm a friend of you. Yeah, and uh, please let me know. Yeah, I have been justified. Romans chapter five, verse one. Book of Romans chapter five, verse one. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, we are justified by the Lord Jesus Christ. How can we become justified? It is impossible, isn't it? But we can be justified by the blood of Lord Jesus. Do, do, do you understand? And Abraham believed in God. If you look at the 
Genesis chapter 15 verse 6. Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 before the Ten Commandments. But you can see Abraham become what? Credited as righteousness. I can read it for you. Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 say, Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. Can you imagine Abraham believing God and God called him your righteousness? Yeah. But now you and me believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are what? You are righteous. Yeah, you are holy. How you become holy and righteous? Only by the blood of Lord Jesus. Only through Jesus. Look at the, uh, on your note. I am united with the Lord and I am one spirit with Him. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 say 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 I can read it for you and but who but he who united himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit we are united with the Lord Jesus in the Holy Spirit yeah? God and myself are one and if God the Father and Son Jesus are one we are one family in Christ Jesus and I have been brought bought with a price I belong to God and same 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 to 20 do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from <coughs> sorry from God you are not your own you are bought uh, at a price therefore honor God with your body yeah honor God with your body he paid a price do you know where you have seen is what that but Jesus paid a price for you and he owns you yeah you know for example if you get a death sentence yeah in prison you are supposed to die but somebody come and pay the price yeah? Father God sent his son Jesus he died on the behalf of your life behalf of your death sentence Jesus died on the cross on the behalf of you mm -hmm. now you're free from death sentence who owns you now Jesus. Jesus almighty God I paid for your sins now you're free come to me you're free you belong to God the Father of course you belong to God the Son Jesus. You belong to God the Holy Spirit. Same. Look, I am a member of Christ's body. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of it. Yeah. You are the body of Christ. Who is the head of Christ? Oh, so, who, so who is the head of the church? Christ, Christ Jesus. You are a body of Christ. Yeah, body of Christ. Therefore, you know, we are body of Christ. We are supporting for one another. Yeah, bless one another. Do you know that? We bless one another. When the head says something, all the body submit. This is my head. Yeah. When the head says something, my leg and my arms, everything is working together to submit to head. If a church not submit to Jesus, how can you call? Do you think it's still church? We call it a social club. <laughs> yeah, this normal church. Church belongs to Jesus. Church is the body of Christ. But Jesus is the head of the church. If Jesus is surely head of the church, when head says something, all the body of Christ say Amen. Can you say Amen? amen. We have to submit to the head of the church, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, you know, in these days, the pulpit not preach the whole scripture. They preach the what? All kind of uh, philosophy or moral or ethics, all kind of uh, some news only, all these kind of things. No, we have to preach the gospel. Preach the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Preach the Lord Jesus. And uh, even tomorrow, three o'clock, we preach the gospel uh, in the high street of, uh, of uh, certain. Preach the gospel preach the gospel. Unfortunately in these days, church, they don't preach the gospel. You know, this is the favor of the Lord for our church. What we, we have, 
we go to every towns and cities all over UK from 2020. And for three days, three days eating together, sleep together, and uh, it's uncomfortable actually. <laughs> uncomfortable to sleep together with uh, some, you're comfortable, okay. <laughs> well done. <yeah. laughs> You left uh, your, your own bed, you left your own home and stayed together with uh, some brothers, sisters. It's, uh, physically, it's a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. But you overcome, yeah, overcome. Why? Because you preach the gospel. But unfortunately, most of the church, they don't preach the gospel. Even in the church or outside of the church, we preach the gospel. Can you say to each other, Preach the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Say teachers, preach the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ all the times. Yeah. Look, I am no saint, a holy one. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1. <coughs> Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, saying, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saint in Ephesians the faithful in Christ Jesus. Actually, I'm a saint. Yeah, I'm a saint. How many saints in here? You're a saint. You know. How do you spell the the uh, uh, sinner? S I and N E R. How about the spell the saint? S I A N T saint. And then you are a saint. You are a holy. Yeah, you are a God child. No more live as a sinner. I used to be a sinner, but now I'm a holy. I'm a righteous. I'm a saint. How many saints in here? Can you say that you are a saint in Jesus' name? You are a saint in Jesus' name. No, no, you said Paul was saint. Peter, oh no, no, you are a saint. Yeah, saint Ashley, <laughs> saint. Edward, Saint Liliana, Saint Elizabeth. Do you know that you are more powerful than Eli King Queen Elizabeth? Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, same name. And then you are more powerful. You are a child of God. Look, I have been adopted as a God's child. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. Uh, I can read for you. He predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in according to his accordance with his uh, pleasure and will. He adopt us as a wonderful child of God. And yeah, we have, uh, you know, uh, sonship yeah, and as God adopt us. Who is our big brother in Christ Jesus? <coughs> Jesus Christ is our big brother. And then through Jesus, he opened the door for everybody, Jews, Gentiles, black and white, yellow, anybody, young and old, slave and free man, everybody to be uh, adopt the children of the Almighty God. Look, and we, I have uh, directed us to God through the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18 say, For through Him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Yeah, by the Holy Spirit you can access to God, God the Father. Yeah. You know, without the Holy Spirit it is impossible you can say to that Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. And through through the Holy Spirit, yeah, you can say to God, Abba Father. How many of you pray to God and you say to God, Abba Father? Have you said that? Yeah, Abba Father is a powerful, powerful. I know some 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 lady she never experienced uh, the good father. But when she was three, her father, you know, sent her to France as a, you know, how can you call? And, uh, she adopted the French family, and uh, she felt rejected by her own father. But thanks be to God, she called the uh, Almighty God as uh, her Abba Father right now. It's not wonderful news. God changed her and bless her. And I have been redeemed and forgiven of all my sins. Colossians chapter 1 verse 14 say, Colossians chapter 1 verse 14 say, okay, in whom we have redeemed the forgiveness of sins. Yeah, Our sins are forgiven. <coughs> when Jesus say it is finished, what does it mean? It is finished mean 
your sins are forgiven from your past, even today, even tomorrow's sins. That is why he paid the price on the cross. It is finished. It is finished. Isn't that wonderful news? Your past sin, your present sin, your future sin, and forgiven by the blood of Lord Jesus. Therefore, you can come to him in the name of Lord Jesus uh, uh, with the repentance. And then God never rejected the uh, you know, heart of a contrite or broken heart. You can come to him with a broken heart and contrite heart, which is a repentance heart. And God, yeah, God receive it and God will forgive. And look, I am complete in Christ. Colossians 2 verse 10 say, And you have been given fullness in Christ, who is the head of every power and authority. Given fullness in Christ. Can I ask you, if God screwed you as spiritually, what things come out from your your life? Do you understand my question? If you squid orange, what things will come out from orange? Juice. Yeah? Orange juice, not apple juice or pear juice. Orange juice come out. If God squid you spiritually, what things will come out from you? Holy juice. Holy juice, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I telling you, fruit of the Holy Spirit will come. Fruit, fruit of the Holy Spirit. What is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, and peace, kindness, goodness, and, and gentleness, and self-control. All these beautiful things will come out from you. Therefore, do you know you have the full of Jesus? Actually, do you have the full of Jesus? You have to have the full of Jesus. Yeah, if you don't have the full of Jesus, now is the time to have the full of Jesus. Can you say to each other, let us receive the fullness of Jesus, say to each other, let us receive the fullness of Jesus in Jesus' name. You can receive the fullness of Lord Jesus. Jesus said to the disciples, learn from me, I am humble and gentle. Do you have a humble spirit? Do you have a gentle spirit? You have a full of Jesus. If you have a full of Jesus, you can have a gentle and humble spirit. And look at I am secure, number two. You can see that. I renounce the lie that I am guilty, unprotected, alone, or abandoned in, uh, uh, abandoned in Christ. I am secure. God said, I am free from what? Condemnation. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Can you read together? Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Yeah, if you have a Bible, you can read together. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Jesus Christ the law of the Spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. It's not wonderful news. I am free indeed. Yes, I am free from condemnation and guilt and death. I am free. Condemnation. And I'm sure that all things work together for good. Actually, Satan hated that scripture. Romans 8, 28, Satan hate. Satan hate. When you have a terrible situation, you claim that Romans chapter 8, 28. Can you look at Romans 8, 28? You can read together. One, two, three. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. All things working together for good. For good. All things. And then can you meet Satan try to attack you and then upset you and disappoint you, but you still proclaim that all things working together for good. Because I love God. Because I have the calling from the um, Lord Jesus Christ. I have the purpose. Yeah. And then all things working together for good. And I'm free from any condemning charge against me. Romans chapter 8. 31 to 34. Can you read together? Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 34. 1, 2, 3. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who died did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who just fight. Who is that uh, condemned? Christ Jesus who died. More than that, 
coup was raised to life is that one uh, right right hand of God and is also in Tassin for us. What is his job now in heaven, Jesus? Intercede for you. What is the position of Jesus? And a physical position. He sit at the what? He sit down on the chair. Yeah, sit at the right hand of God. Yeah, and his main job intercede for you and me. It's the wonderful news. Praise God. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the Holy Spirit job now? What Holy Spirit doing within you? What are you doing? Yeah, look at Romans chapter 8, 26. This Holy Spirit doing inside of you. Yeah, can you read together? Romans 8, 26. 1, 2, 3. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Holy Spirit Himself intercedes for us within growing and word cannot express. What the Holy Spirit doing now inside of you? Intercede. Can you imagine the Holy Spirit dwell inside of you, intercede for you, and the Jesus sit at the right hand of intercede for you? Yeah? Isn't that wonderful? Holy Spirit pray for you, Jesus pray for you. Even I pray for you. <laughs> you pray for me. Thank you very much. Can you say, teacher, you are so blessed because Jesus and Holy Spirit pray for you. Say, teacher, you are so blessed because Jesus and Holy Spirit pray for you. Isn't that wonderful news? Yeah, praise God. Did you enjoy the English class this evening, Sister Lydia? Yeah? You happy about it? Yeah. She's going to prepare to be a missionary in UK. Speak English. <laughs> Learn English. <laughs> and then, yes, and then it's very important to, to study. Study. You know, if you don't study, you never, you never teach, actually. Study. You know, a uh, long time ago so when I came to UK, I couldn't speak English at all. I knew only Hallelujah and Amen, only two. <laughs> Even Hallelujah and Amen from Israel, from Hebrew actually. <laughs> <coughs> Can you imagine? I couldn't speak English. And I prayed to the Lord, what shall I do? And God gave me the desire. Learn English freely. I said, how? God is very interesting. God gave me the wisdom. You can go to the some street. Is a cross the street, you can stand in the corner, you can show the, your address, uh, you can talk to the people, and then ask them how to go to your home. <coughs> you know, why should I have the, my address, uh, I used to live in the gold screen, in the, in the poor corner, and I stand in there, I ask the, when I pray, Lord, I love to talk to the hundred people. You know, when you ask some people, they don't charge, it's freely, they can, they can guide you. And I asked him, how can I go there? They explained, turn left and turn right like this. And they pass. You know, within, within, I think within one hour, 20 minutes, I talked with the 42 people. <laughs> 42, tip, 42 people. And if somebody look at me, that man, he not gone away. He's standing there, continuing talking, <laughs> asking the question. But what I did, I learned English from the street. And then, you know, Homeless, they have the plenty of time. Do you know what I do? I wear the suit, I come with uh, my suitcase, and then people, these people thought I'm uh, like Japanese businessman. They, this homeless, they thought, oh, this man is a very busy man, why he stand in front of me? <laughs> and then <coughs> I opened my suitcase and I showed my Bible. And I asked the homeless, can you read it for me? Especially I opened the book of John. Can you read it for me? Do you know what this homeless did? He did his best with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his strength. He read the book of John, chapter 1. And you know, I stand up, he read for me very clearly native English. And I was praying, oh God, Holy Spirit, touch him, touch him. And uh, around the 5 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, 20 minutes, continue reading. And you know what happened? The eyes, homeless eyes, tears rolling on his face. I said, are you okay? Do you know, this homeless, I don't know why I cry. <laughs> because Holy Spirit touch. Do you know, Word of God has got the power. Do you know that? Word of God is like a double, more sharp than double-edged sword. And then it's penetrate their soul and marrow and their thought and their heart. And the Word of God touch their heart. They cry. 
And many people, many homeless become born again because of <laughs> the, 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 the Bible. And I gave the leaflet on the pick up leaflet the sinner's prayer. Thanks be to God. I learned English from homeless. Therefore, my English is homeless English. <laughs> Just to let you know. Uh, do you understand my homeless English? Brother Daniel, English Daniel, you understand? Yeah? I do, do. Okay. Well, homeless okay. Not homeless. okay. <laughs> he was homeless, he understood my language. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. A <laughs> uh, short time. Okay, look. Look, and I have been, and I, I cannot be separated from the love of God. Well, I think we can read uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. Whom shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, and dangers, or sword? It is written, for your sake we face that all day long. We are considered as a sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, and nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Who will separate us from the love of God? Who? None. Even angels? No. No. Nothing. Can you say to each other, no one separate to you from love of Jesus. Say to each other, no one separate to you from love of Jesus. Amen. It's not wonderful. Do you know you love your children, yeah? Your children know that you, you love your children. They are so bold. <laughs> they are so bold. Why? Because they know they have love from their father and mother. They know. You know, is a, your husband, the pastor Julie, is a very big, yeah? and then <laughs> tall and strong. And then Isa, he don't care of anybody. <laughs> Do you understand? His friend no more bullying him. <laughs> Why he stand? I still remember my niece studying in the my niece studying in the some school in the in Brixton. And my niece, two girls, they told their teenage girl, they told me. Uh, their uncle, like they call me uh, big father or you know even pastor. You, we f we see, we feel we we are, we are in Africa. Why you say that? Because he say she they say that over seventy eighty percent of the people are black people in in Jam in 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 Brixton. <laughs> that is why they feel they are in in Africa. But do you know what happened? Because there are two Korean girls studying in the, this, uh, this school in Brixton area, they are bullying. Terribly bullying. And the school keeper, school keeper is a brother Howard. Howard is a missionary in, in, in France now. And then I talked, I know the headmaster. I know the all the, you know, most of the school teachers. And one day I need to come and talk to the, these children. When I came there, the school, and I asked Howard, can I talk to the headmaster about uh, this bullying? I went there. And then my two niece uh, point on me, this girl bullying me, and the other girl bullying me. And then I talked with the headmaster. The headmaster al allowed me to talk to them directly. Because we used the assembly hall in the school hall on Sunday at the time. I called the girls, come here. Do you know what happened? Because I'm uncle, I'm a like, big father for these girls, yeah? From that time, I told them, I preached the gospel, believe the Lord Jesus. These girls received the goodness of Lord Jesus. They became their life to Jesus. Please don't bullying anymore. They say, yes. No more. No more. Why? Because they know that behind these knees, my, my knees, Pastor Paul song, supporting. <laughs> Do you understand? Same thing. You are the children of God. Behind you, who's supporting for you? Almighty God. Be strong, behold. Amen. Amen. The Lord your God be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, I am confident. I think it's a, I have been established, anointed, and sealed by God. Look at the Second Corinthians chapter 1. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. 
Now it is God who make both us you, uh, uh, both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us and set His seal of ownership on us and put His uh, Spirit in our heart as your deposit and guarantee what is to come. Who has got ownership on you? His seal of ownership on you, yeah? Jesus, He owns you. Who owns your life? Yeah? Who has got ownership of your life? Jesus. Isa, who owns your sons? Don't tell me he's my son. No, he's a <laughs> God's son. But unfortunately, the parents made a mistake. They, have, they thought they have the ownership of their own children. I need to do it. I need, no, no. You need to bring your children to hands of God. Yeah? You have two children, Daniel. Yeah? One is five or six, yeah? Five. Can you bring your daughter, his daughter, yeah? yeah. Into the hands of God. I've been trying to, yeah. Can you say amen? <coughs> if you bring your daughter, five years old, give on to the hands of God, you are free from anxiety. You are free from stress. You can say to God, Lord God, I know. My child is not only my child. <coughs> of course, physically, you know, I can look after my child, but you are the one to look after my child. God is the one. Okay, you can see. I'm confident that the good work God has begun in me will be perfected. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. I memorized that scripture yesterday. I am a citizen of heaven. Philippians chapter 3 verse 2. You, how many have the British passport? You have the British passport? Yeah? Which passport also you have? Yeah? Heaven. Heaven, <laughs> heaven passport. Yeah, you have the. Not a vaccine pass. Yeah, <laughs> heavenly passport. Yeah, yeah. You have the, this wonderful. You have citizen of heaven. I am a hidden with Christ in God. Colossians three verse three. I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self control. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Do you remember, sister? Yeah. The scripture come unto you to that tonight. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. God never give you what? Spirit what? Fear. Fear. But God give you what? Love. Love and power and sound mind. Yeah. Can you say to each other, God never give you spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Say to you, God never give you spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Never ever. God never ever give you spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Amen. Be strong and be courageous. The Lord your God be with you. I can find the grace and mercy to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. When you need help, he will answer you. Yeah? I am born of God and the evil one cannot touch me. Thank God. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18. Can you see the next page here? I am significant. I am significant. Can you see it? I denounce uh, the lie that I am worthless, uh, inadequate, and helpless or hopeless in Christ Jesus. I am significant. I am important. Amen. I'm very important. I'm very important in the eyes of the Lord. God says, I am the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 14. Yeah. You know, if you're a professional cook, yeah, you need a salt. Yeah, how can you make it test very nicely your food? You need a salt. You need a salt. You are a salt of the world and light of the world. Yeah, salt and light is a is very very. Can you turn off the light? Turn off the light to light. Can you see my face? <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. Can you turn on the light? When you turn on the light. At the same time, darkness is gone away. Therefore, you have to make sure you are a light of the world and salt of the world. Don't lose, lose your saltiness. Yeah? You cannot put the light under the ball. No, you are a light of the world. Yeah? And I am a branch of the true vine, Jesus, a channel of his life. John chapter 15, verse 1 and 5. I am the vine, you are a branches. Yeah, you cannot be anything. We are nothing without the vine. We are nothing without the Jesus. 
Yeah. How many Nekonai that you are nothing without Jesus? Eh? In Christ Jesus, you are somebody. I was nobody when I was uh, living outside of Lord Jesus. But I am in Christ Jesus. Within Christ Jesus, I'm somebody. I'm a child of God. I'm light of the world. Yeah. I am a branch of the true vine. I have been chosen and not appointed by God to bear fruit. John 15 verse 16. Bear the much fruit. Bear fruit. I know who you are. Through your fruit. Show me your fruit. Yes, yeah, show me your fruit. Do you remember last, you know, last, last day of 2021? Holy Spirit spoke to me to bring somebody. I didn't know who. I brought the Mr. Jack. <laughs> and two weeks ago, he listened to water baptism. There's a fruit. Do you understand? Don't tell me I obey the Holy Spirit, I obey Jesus. Show me your fruit. What is your fruit? If you don't show me the fruit, you didn't obey. Do you understand? I'm sorry to tell him the truth. But do you know you can see the fruit? How many souls come to Lord Jesus through your life? How many your neighbors, your family blessed through your life? Can you ask each other? Show me your fruit in Jesus' name. Say it is. Show me your fruit in Jesus' name. Eh? <coughs> Show me your fruit. I know who you are. Show me your fruit. Yeah? But without Jesus, we are nothing. But with Jesus, <laughs> yeah, with Jesus, bless you. With Jesus, you can bear much fruit. I've been chosen and appointed by God to bear fruit. I am a personal, spiritual, empowered witness of Christ. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Anybody know the Acts chapter 1 verse 8? You will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witness in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and, and the of the earth. Receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be witness. Actually, original meaning witness what? Martyr. martyr. How many of you are ready to be a martyr for Jesus? Yeah, I'm ready. You are ready to be a martyr for Jesus? Well done. Daniel, you are well well prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow evening I, I need to another brother Joseph come from the Spain. Joseph, he's gonna stay in our church. And then you know, we're gonna pray for my brother, sister Dojo Akami. When twenty fourth of this month, another young boy, teenager boy, come to our church. He stay in our church. In March, you know, publisher, Italian brother will come. And in these days coming, in May, another English brother, brother Mark, will come. And then, then yes, I think sister will come. When the sister come, you need to move into the men's room. Yeah, if a woman coming, yeah, just let you know. Do you know, this is a, our church is a training ground. We prepare the people to preach the goodness of Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. So many people come to our church and start a brand new life. And they become a light of the world and salt of the world. And look, I am a temple of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. I am a minister of reconciliation for God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 to 21. I am a fellow worker with God. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1. I am seated with Christ in heavenly names. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. Can you imagine spiritually where you are now? Tell me. You are seated with God. Can you imagine? Physically you are in here. Spiritually you sit with Almighty God. Yeah? Physically where is Jesus now? Right hand of Almighty God. Spiritually, where is Jesus now? Spiritually. Inside of us. Can you imagine? One little Sunday school girl like it. How old is she? Five? Six? Prepare to be a Prime Minister in UK from now on, okay? You can join the Conservative Party, I think. And <laughs> she prepare for to be a uh, Prime Minister. You pre prepare for what? President of what? Bolivia. Prepare, Isa. Prepare. How old he is? Three. Three. Prepare from now on. You know. Prepare. You'll probably do a better job now yeah. than Boris Johnson. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know why I, I speak of the Shudra. What do you want to say? I forget. <laughs> Prepare. Uh, what I what 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 the, I, I just eh? What did I say? Before I told. The vision to see. Yeah. Uh, I I just any anyway forget. <laughs> Prepare. Prepare to do good work. Uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, if you don't prepare and then you know, even the Prince William, yeah, <coughs> his wife, Katie, yeah. She her mother Katie prepared for her daughter to uh, marry the uh, William. Do you know how did you read that that that, yeah. that book? Yeah? And then she she's a multimillionaire her her husband. And then she sent her daughter to Katie in the University of Edinburgh. And then she go before William one year earlier and then she waiting for William and then do you know what she did? She, did? she get a one year uh, gap year and then she joined the same classroom of uh, the William. She prepared, can you imagine? She prepared and then she grow and training and prepare to be a the wife of uh, the prince in United Kingdom, and she made it. Can you imagine? Even the worldly people prepare and then achieve. But born again Christian prepare. Do you know how God prepare Moses? God prepare Moses in where? Forty years in where? No, forty years in, from one to forty years old. Where? Egypt where? Which place? No wilderness. Yeah. Palace. Palace. Like a Buckingham Palace. He was training in palace. But God said, no, it's not enough. We need another training. Totally opposite training. Where? It's a very nice place, eh? Wilderness. <laughs> another place. Totally opposite of a palace. Wilderness. It's like you become homeless. <laughs> yeah? And then when you was 80, after training, now God, sp God spoke to uh, Moses, go to Egypt, let my people come out. And Moses in the beginning, he denied, no, who am I? No, no I can't, I can't. But God sent him to Egypt, release the people of Israel. Do you know, everything is a training. How many of you are willing to train? Don't tell me I'm uh, over 60 years old or 70 years old. Don't tell me. Yeah? How, how long are you going to train? Until? Until we die. Eh? Until we die, we train. Yeah? I know. It's just, Elijah, you are a very good teacher. You are a good preacher also. Thank God. But still train. Yeah? I still train. I still train. Daily. Every day we have to train. Don't tell me, oh, I'm okay. No, you are not okay. You have to train it continually. And don't tell me I'm enough. No, no, you are not enough. Continually. Do you think it's a, yesterday, yesterday is a grace is enough for me today? You need what kind of grace? We need the grace today. Do you understand? Do you know the manna? Jewish people, they collect the manna from the ground. The manna keep it for how long? One day. One, one day. The word of God. You have to meditate the word of God daily. Don't tell me yesterday I read the ten, ten chapters. Therefore today I don't need to read. What's wrong with you? Yeah? Need the Bible daily. I had a lot yesterday full of a very nice food. Therefore today I, I, I don't need to eat. That kind of the attitude. <laughs> yeah? We have to have the spiritual daily bread every day. Yeah? Can you say to each other, read the Bible daily, say to each other, read the Bible daily. Amen. Don't tell me, oh, I read the Bible yesterday is uh, too much. Therefore, today is I need to relax. No. Read the Bible daily. Just let you know, those who are staying in our church, very soon some, some some more people come to our church. We're gonna we're gonna have uh, the morning service in here. Just let you know. 
And then please don't tell me, oh, I, I have the, no, I'm no morning person. I need to, <laughs> I need to sleep until nine, ten o'clock in the morning. No, please, uh, please prepare very soon. When some more people coming, and I will come here in the morning before six o'clock, and I'm leading from Monday to Friday. Do you know, I used to do it for many, many years. Even I do in my house, but only three people stay now at church now. I don't come, but uh, I do it in, in uh, our, 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 my house. Look, I am minister of reconciliation for God. I am a fellow worker with God. I am seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. I am got your workmanship created for God, for good work. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Yeah, you are a good worker. I may approach God with freedom and confidence. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12. Yeah, how can you approach to God? In the name of Jesus, how often offer to God daily, every moment? Yeah, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who give me strength. Philippians chapter four verse thirteen. I am not the great I am, but by the grace of God I am what I am. Yeah. This one Corinthians chapter chapter fifteen verse ten. Yeah, God can do everything. Just we trust in the Lord Jesus. You need to know who you are in Christ Jesus, yeah. And then I think it's a today is a, a Bible study and a special training, freedom in Christ Jesus. I wish uh, all my brothers sisters you can enjoy the freedom daily. How many of you enjoy the freedom in Christ Jesus? It's wonderful. How many of you enjoy the heaven daily? Did you enjoy the heaven? <laughs> I enjoy the heaven every day. Heaven is not part of my heaven is within me. Heaven is inside of me. I enjoy the heaven. I wish everybody become like me. <laughs> you know, Paul, Apostle Paul say, everyone imitate me. I wish everybody become like me. And you know, King Agrippa, and then in the book of Acts, he spoke to Apostle Paul. You try to convince me and then make me Christian? King say to Apostle Paul. And do you know what Apostle Paul said? Everyone, including you, everybody who listen to me now, become like me. Accept this chain. <laughs> he said that very boldly in front of the king. I wish Queen Elizabeth become like me. I wish Prince, Prince Charles, yeah? He's the same birthday of me, yeah? 14th of uh, November. He never invited me in the, <laughs> I gonna invite him. He, oh, I wish he can come. I wish everybody, loyal family, become like me. Even Boris Johnson. Even Boris Johnson become like a person, what's gonna happen? In UK. The Bible come. Do you understand? If Boris Johnson come to church every Sunday, even Wednesday evening, Pastor Paul, thank you very much. Pray for me, training me. This nation change. I wish he can listen what I'm saying. <laughs> can you contact the body Johnson? This Friday he can come to this uh, prayer meeting. He's your friend, the brother. Eh? Oh, it's a very good idea. Yeah. Can you can you invite them, brother Daniel? It's your job. Invite all of them. Yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, could encourage you. Paul Sikera came here sometimes, the, our local MP. He is a minister for minister for London, actually. Uh, he's quite a high position. But I encourage him, do you, when do you want to become prime minister? I told him. He, because of uh, this are so many difficult things now, Boris Johnson, he loses the hope to be a prime minister. It's very complicated. He said, no, no, for me, he said that. I was praying for him. I told him uh, a few, three, four years ago, you know, when you become a prime minister in UK, I can be uh, your spiritual advisor. He said, Amen. Amen. He said that. But now he changed his mind. Anyway, uh, pray for this nation. Shall you stand up? You need to renounce it. You need to announce it. You have what you announce it. You have to announce it. Uh, I'm a child of God. Yeah, I'm secure. I'm significant. 
just one minute, can you lift up your holy hand and say to Jesus uh, who you are in Christ Jesus? Let's pray together. Father, I thank you. I know who uh, I am in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I am a child of God. I am a Christ friend. Father, we thank you, Jesus. You changed my life. Although I belong to Jesus, I am secure. I am a significant. I am very important in Christ Jesus because of Jesus. I am nothing but because of Jesus, I am what I am. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Elizabeth, can you lead us pray? Yeah. Yes. Amen. Give the big love for the Lord Jesus. Bless up in the name of the Lord.